Hi, I'm Katie. I've been coming to Fat Tuesday since it began, really, and it's great to see the event grow and get bigger and bigger every year. And I think it really showcases the eccentricity and the uniqueness that is Hastings. It's a wonderful gig. Get yourselves to Hastings. Always a party. This is about my fifth Fat Tuesday. It gets better and better every year. It's just amazing. I spent all afternoon listening to all sorts of bands around the town. The jazz, the dancing here today is just amazing. It's all free. It's a great family event. And I'm just excited for Hastings. I had a band called the, the Cajun Dogs. It's a, playing music from Louisiana, a little bit traditional Cajun music, which is a kind of French derived, sort of folksy, bluesy sort of music, crossed with rocking blues out of Louisiana, out of New Orleans type sort of music. And um, we were a successful band locally, and, um, but we needed, I wanted a platform to try to promote the band in a bigger sort of way. So I came up, I found out that in New Orleans, they have a Mardi Gras, and um, Mardi Gras is French for Fat Tuesday, it's on Shrove Tuesday, our pancake day, and it's a massive celebration, not just in New Orleans, but all over the world, in places like Rio, where they call it Carnival, in Venice, where they call it Carnavale, and um, it's an inauspicious date in February or March, and um, gave us the opportunity to put a gig on, find whoever the biggest band were in town, put the Cajun Dogs on as a support act, and um, just have a party on a Trove Tuesday night. And uh, that's what that's that's the very early origin, origins of uh, Fat Tuesday in Hastings. Uh, my friend and uh, now business partner, Bob Tipler, approached me in 2009 to get involved uh, with the project. Um, he'd been running a Mardi Gras event for the previous couple of years. My background is with um, theatre, music industry, events, corporate events, you name it. I've kind of been doing events for over 30 years. So we, uh, we workshopped some ideas and came up with a, a concept for the first um, Fat Tuesday in 2010. approached several venues here and they, they really liked the idea. We, we always knew that Hastings was a, a great town for live music and uh, Fat Tuesday kind of encapsulated that. With Adam's expertise and experience we were able to grow into this the festival that's grown year on year for the last 10 years as Fat Tuesday. We, we rebranded it away from just calling it Hastings Mardi Gras because if you call it Hastings Fat Tuesday, which is the English translation, at least everyone knows what on a Tuesday, even if they don't know what it is. People will turn out for this and they will have a good time. They come and they love music down here. So year on year over the last 10 years, it's just grown into this enormous, multifaceted musical experience. So along with these, the sponsorship from Music Bank and London Drum Company, which has enabled us to put really professional equipment in all the venues, uh, meaning that for, for, where, where the bands now um, play three 20 minute sets in different venues, it just means that they have to carry drumsticks and instruments around, plug in and play, and it's just fantastic. So now the festival runs over five days, um, with the launch event on Friday, Fat Friday. We have this incredible um, unplugged uh, Saturday event between one and six, where there's 20 uh, venues, 40 bands, each band plays for 15 minutes five times, which means there's 200 gigs throughout the afternoon. It's a testament to how great, the, particularly the old town is, there's so many venues so close together that you can actually uh, recreate a kind of New Orleans Bourbon Street vibe here in Hastings. By working with um, BBC Introducing, the Egg Tooth Project, with the Joe Strummer Foundation, uh, Off Axis, which is part of Unconvention, 
uh, just bringing um, unsigned and, and developing acts from all over the UK and further, uh, giving them a forum on the Sunday uh, to perform. What we're trying to achieve is to, to, to maintain the event at a similar size, but just improve the quality and the offer. It is genuinely an intergenerational festival. There is no demographic that is missing. And I think that's quite an achievement to be a family friendly festival and still have musical credibility. Fat Tuesday makes people proud of living in Hastings. They, they really feel that it brings out all the qualities of Hastings in terms of the talent, the local talent and musical talent, but also the friendliness, the um, exuberance, the community spirit, the, 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 just the pride in the town. It, there is a really strong sense of place here. When I first came to Hastings, it was one of my first experiences of Hastings, Fat Tuesday. Somebody said, you know, we arrived on that day, we didn't know it was take, taking place. We certainly didn't know that um, the whole Mardi Gras experience, and I thought they were having a laugh. I thought, you're joking, aren't you? Because I had been to New Orleans, as had my partner. So we both looked at each other and went, this is strange. Um, but we had a fantastic time. We ended up at Black Market. And there was a band there playing uh, called the Cajun Dogs who were playing. Really, really tight. And, uh, and as I looked around, it was completely mobbed. And there were like seven-year-olds dancing with 70-year-olds. So I turned around to my partner and I said, you know what, babe? We have to live here, you know? This is the place. This music was just jumping. People really getting down, and I love that mixture of sort of old and new and young and everything else, and people are dressing up. I mean, that's the thing about this town. Give somebody a moment to dress up, and they will. Give them a platform, they'll get involved, and that's what I love about it. Um, we, we, we have our own music conference, alternative music conference, Unconvention. Um, Slim Monday on Monday night, that's been going for 10 years now. And then, of course, Fat Tuesday is like the icing on the cake on the, the Tuesday, which is... Uh, always great fun. Finishing with a, the after party, uh, which is always a, a, a great achievement to uh, still be going and dancing. The highlight has to be the Mardi Gras. Everything it stands for about being the person you want to be and being accepted and included and sharing special times together with fantastic bands. And the costumes were amazing. I dressed up, but people in this era love to dress up and be creative in their clothing. So that was a visual feast as well. What's great about Mardi Gras, and especially Fat Tuesday, is the encapsulation of that. It is a free festival um, and it's wonderful for that. So, so long may that continue. Clearly there's, you know, there are some workshops or certain things that they have to pay for, but relatively speaking, what you're getting, you're getting an awful lot for nothing, um, which is wonderful. The Arts Council, is a very strong supporter of Hastings Fat Tuesday because they can see that it allows people here to express their sense of pride and achievement in the town and that is priceless. Mardi Gras now is an established thing. Um, people do come down, I have friends come down especially for it as indeed with Jack in the Green but the musicianship and the bands, the array of bands, that's what they come down for. And that's why I like being here. The music is amazing. It's really acting as a magnet for this entire area. So we get coming to Fat Tuesday, people from Kent, people from Surrey, people from London, um, actually people from Brazil and Northamptonshire and Wales. I mean, people come from all over now to come to Fat Tuesday. I think it will continue to make Hastings more famous than it already is. I think it will just be a synonymous, you know, be maybe not up there, but you know, will be spoken, you know, you become Notting Hill Carnival, it becomes Hastings Fat Tuesday, or it becomes, you know, one of these Edinburgh Festival, it becomes, that's what we want to see, it's the, the, the set pushes I'm loath to say the Hastings brand, but the Hastings name gets out there and becomes synonymous with a celebratory party, good time 
to the place that people like to be in and have a good time in, you know.